Hey guys, this is Matt Laporta with Laporta Sports. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, taking care of your body, knowing your body, understanding it. Um, I, I know as young athletes, we can tend to eat whatever we want uh, and still stay in great shape uh, and be healthy and fit, uh, but eventually that catches up to us. And so kind of from an eating perspective, you know, I'm going to touch on a few perspectives, but the first one's going to be eating. I think from a young age, it's very important to uh, uh, understand what foods our bodies really need. You know, our bodies don't want chips, they don't want sweets. I know they crave it at times, but we gotta, we gotta teach our bodies not to want it as much. Um, and it's, it's really important to, uh, again, know what's going into your body so that when the output, we can have optimal performance. Um, and it, it, to me, it's critically important to learn those things at a young age because when you start trying to learn those things as you get older, uh, it's more difficult. Your body knows what it wants. And so, uh, again, I would encourage young athletes to uh, you know, have an idea of what you want to eat and have your parents help you create a food plan. Again, it, it's all about preparation. And I've said it before in our other videos and, and podcasts and stuff, is it, it's... It's all about structure. If you have a structured meal plan every day of the week or five days a week, you know you're gonna you're gonna win. It's gonna you're gonna have a winning battle against against food. I mean, you really are. Like for example, right now, my wife and I were going through a program, and we're you know in the morning we have an oatmeal, I have an apple for a snack, I have a salad for lunch. I'll have a shake for another snack, and then we'll have an, uh, a, a nice dinner that she prepares for us. And I know you're, you might be young, and you might not go, well, I, I can't make dinner. Well, maybe ask your mom to make dinner for you, your dad. I, I mean, they're, they're highly involved with your sports, and they want to see you succeed. This is just one of those pieces that will help you succeed. And I believe eating will help the mood you're in. I, I believe it, it'll just help, again, the performance that you put out. Um, and I know a lot of you guys, unfortunately, are playing a lot of baseball or a lot of football or a lot of soccer, or whatever it may be. But predominantly, you know, this is we're going to talk about baseball, but there's a lot of kids playing a lot of baseball. And, you know, if you want to play that many games, we've got to take care of our bodies. We've got to take care of the way we eat. You know, you've got to be on point with that. Uh, not to say you can't go out and have fun. I love pizza. I mean, I'll never stop eating pizza. It's just the way it is. And that's okay, but really understanding, limiting yourself, and having control over the way we eat, I, th I think is huge. And it's a mindset, and it starts when we're young. Um, the next thing I really want to talk about is baseball, and uh, I want to talk about injury prevention, right? I'm not an athletic trainer um, by no means. I don't have that education. There's people out there that are extremely uh, intelligent. At, at getting athletes back on the field uh, and they're great at what they do. I'm coming from a perspective of having three hip surgeries on my left hip uh, and uh, in a span of eight years. And, and so injuries are not fun to deal with. Injuries will ruin your career faster than you can you know, blink your eyes. I mean, I thought I was gonna be a guy, I was a first rounder, I was a seventh overall pick. I thought I'd be a guy that played in the big leagues for 10 to 15 years and you know hit 30 home runs a year and just all the great things that you would think about and dream about. And injury struck in 2009. Then it struck again in 2012. And then I just never could come back. And, and in 2017, I got my hip replaced, you know, full hip replacement. Um, and you know, it was just more of, it wasn't anything that I did. It was just kind of one of those things that it just didn't work out for me. It was bad luck, right? And I don't really believe in a whole lot of luck, but that's, uh, you call it whatever you want. Um, and so, and I bring that up because I know there's a lot of players out there that play a lot of baseball and they're a young, they're young, young guys. Um, and I just, I, I have a hard time with that. And I know parents might not like what I have to say and they might go, well, Matt, you don't understand. You don't know, well, I kind of do understand. I've been around the game a little bit. And, and it just, and I get it. Trust me, my kids are in, in, 
this t-ball little league deal and my twins are and i'm a coach there um they give us a practice schedule of three uh, of three days of practice and i said time out my kids are they're four years old and we're not going to practice every day we're not going to practice three days a week we're going to play one game and one practice a week and you have to set the standard as the parent you have to protect the kids the kids want to play every day, but it's not good for their bodies every day, especially at that young age, right? I didn't start playing travel baseball, and I know travel baseball is a huge thing, and I have nothing against it. It's just pick and choose your time, right? I didn't start playing travel baseball until I was a, soft, or a junior in high school. And when I was a junior in high school, just so you guys know, I was 6'1", 220 pounds. I mean, I was, I was developed, right? I wasn't a buck. 50, you know, 5'8", not developed yet. You know, my bones haven't, you know, I, I was, I'm not gonna say I was a man by any means. I was still probably immature in a lot of ways, but physically I was, I was strong. Um, and that's when I started playing some travel ball. But again, it was the summer, I might've played 30 extra games. And then I played my high school season, which was, might've been 30 games. And I'm gonna get num more numbers for you guys later on some of that stuff. I mean, but I played maybe 60 games as a high school, junior same thing as a senior um you know again my body broke down it was one of those things it's unfortunate but what i hate seeing is going into therapy right now getting my hip done and in the previous times that i've had my hip surgeries seeing other young athletes at 10 years old in there because their knee hurts or their foot hurts um and i, and I asked them what are you doing and they're, oh, i will play baseball well, time out. You're 10 years old and your knees are hurting and your back is hurt. Dude, let's take a breather. Take a break. You're never going to get to the big leagues if you're hurt. Okay? I, I can promise you that. If you get hurt before you get to college or before you get drafted, whatever, you, you're not going to make it. So you have to really focus, I think, and be extremely diligent and know your body. If you're in pain, stop playing. Relax. Give your body a rest. I was in therapy the other day. This is a story, and sorry if I'm getting on a tangent. It just it, it, it hurts me um, to see this. I was in there. The kid's a hockey player, and his foot was hurting. He's 10 years old. Nobody can figure out why his foot's hurting, so he's getting work on it and everything. Sure enough, though, that night, where's he off to? Off to hockey practice. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. It frustrates me to see that happen. As a parent, I think you need to step in and go, time out, kid's 10, Let, let's take a breather. Coach, he's not gonna make it today. He might not make it for a month because what good is it if the kid gets hurt and then he never gets a scholarship, then he never goes and plays professional baseball. There's plenty of, there's plenty of time to get to that level, to get to those levels, right? But we can't do it if we're hurt, okay? I mean, again, I have a, this is a huge passion of mine to help protect kids and, and I think it's, We've got to educate parents, uh, coaches, uh, families on how to protect these kids. These kids don't know. My son asked me every day to play baseball, and that's fine. We might take some swings off a tee, but we're not playing a game every day. Um, and that's another thing I'll talk about in another episode is playing a game is different than practice, right? A lot of times it's good to play games, but you're not really working on your craft. You, you know, Let's work on a craft more than playing a game. You know, wait till you wait till you get to the big leagues to play 162 games, or the minor leagues where you're playing 140 some odd games, right? Let's wait till then, or college where you're playing 50 or 60, but not now, not when you're, you know, from age 14 and younger. Um, so I know I kind of went on a rant there, but like I said, it's just a passion of mine. I, I, again, if the kid is sore or hurt, back off, back off the plane for a little bit, let him rest, let him recover. If you think it's three days and he says, you know, if the kid says he's fine, give him another day or two. Make sure he's really fine. Make sure it's really healed, whatever it is. Because again, you're just, you're hurting your body. The, the kid is hurting his body. The more he plays on an injured foot, on an injured knee, a, a tight calf, a tight hammy, it's gonna affect them somewhere else. And we don't wanna see that. I don't wanna see that. You know, I don't wanna see kids at 10 years old in an athletic training room where a grown man is in there getting, you know, getting his work done because he's had those injuries, you know. So I just, I just encourage all parents and coaches to really, really think about it, you know. 
And you know, another thing I'm gonna bring up, not in this episode, but it's come to my mind is, is curveballs and breaking balls. That's a no, another thing that I wanna talk about. But for now, I mean, again, taking care of our body is, is what this episode is about. And so that's kind of, that, that point would be, if you're hurting, if you feel pain, pull back, stop, relax. Let, let the kid heal for a little bit. You know, and kids, heal up, you know? Don't, don't lie to your parents because you want to go back out there and play. It's not beneficial. Heal up. I'll give you a perfect example. I was a junior in college. I blew out my, I blew out my oblique, you know? And the advice that I had for mentors was make sure you heal. Make sure you heal, Matt, before you come back. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dumb jock. All I wanted to do was get back out on the field and hit home runs and hit home runs for the University of Florida. Well, you know what? I pushed myself to come back. It's not my trainer's fault. It's not my coach's fault. I was old enough. I knew I wasn't ready to go, but I wanted to be on that field. I wanted to be there. You, you know, I was, it was my draft year, big things I thought were coming. Um, and I wanted to be on the field. So the trainer goes, how do you feel? Hey, I feel great. I feel great. And I probably did. But game speed versus practice speed is totally different. And so I went out there and played. And let me tell you what, I had the worst year of college baseball that I, I, I could have at the worst time. You know, everybody thought I was going to be a top five pick my junior year. Well, I didn't get drafted to my 14th round because I was hurt the whole year. Or I played through pain and I, and I quite frankly, I was no good. Um, you know, and, and I don't want to see that happen to you guys. I want you guys to be able to play in high school, be able to play in college if that's where you want to go. Be able to play in the minors, the big leagues. But again, you can't do that if you're hurt. And if you're on that field, everybody's going to think you're 100%. That's just the way it is. I don't care if you're playing through pain. They're going to know, that, hey, he looks like he's 100%. He's just not good. He's just not good enough. And I don't want to see that happen because I've seen it happen before with me and a lot of other players in this game. So, again, it's very important we take care of our bodies. We only got one, and, and baseball demands a lot out of it.